Hello everyone, Greg here, and today I'm doing a little different video, camping video for my channel. I'm going over my uh, truck bed camper, truck cap camper, however you want to call it, for overlanding or camping out of a car. And as you might be able to tell, I'm at the Bodie Island Lighthouse, or some people say it's Body Island, the locals pronounce it. But what I have is a 2021 Ford F-250 with the 6.2 liter gas V8 and six speed transmission, uh, four wheel drive, FX4 package. And this isn't gonna be a review of the truck itself, but it's a review of how I'm using it for overlanding or truck cap camping. I will be doing a review of the truck very soon and the camper I got it to tow with. If you saw my last videos were of a class C, I now have a uh, trailer, pull behind bumper pull trailer. And that's why I bought this. I still have my Jeep. Plan to keep it for a while. I love it. Would not want to get rid of it. But let's get into this video. Uh, so as you can see, it's a super cab, short bed, a Lear 122XL, I think they call it. I have the roof rack. I don't have the crossbars on. I just got those recently. They're on back order. But uh, I will be putting those on. Probably a solar panel. But let's get into the truck. So let me go to wide mode. Uh, this is where all the driving happens. And how I use it as a USB-C cable for Android Auto and the in-dash screen or a Apple CarPlay. Big center console for storage. Use it for uh, stone tire deflators, change, whatever. Not much to see here. Normal, normal stuff for driving. Uh, the rear, I have full of junk. These are bags for my camp chair, a REI folding table, a gazelle gazebo, a screen house, and a, a CVT shower tent. Those are all set up back at camp. And uh, they go in the back of the truck. And the floor back here, I have a bag for my iPad, which is charging on the Blue Eddy. And I have a camera bag. I keep this towel over it just to keep people guessing as what's in there. Uh, you might already see I have a Blue Eddy EB70. It is a LifePo battery, not straight lithium. And my Dometic CFX40 fridge is plugged in. I will be doing videos on the fridge and the Blue Eddy later. But right now my iPad's charging. I have a charger plugged in for my earbud. It's plugged into my truck to charge it, and uh, fridge is plugged into the Blue Eddy. Now the manufacturer, I contacted them on Amazon for the question. They said not to charge it full time, and I don't. So I let it get down 20, 40%, then I charge it. But that'll be in the later review. But uh, this seat's a mess. This is just how it is when you're living out of it for the past week. This is my final day at the Outer Banks of North Carolina camping. This will be my seventh night in the truck camper. So everything's a mess. Got a couple stuck things for my wife and myself uh, to buy. I have levelers for my camper. I thought I might need with a truck. I've been, this is my fourth campground this trip. I have not needed the levelers. i uh, got a couple gallons of spare water. So I haven't needed the levelers. I uh, may not bring them anymore, I don't know. This, is, again, is the, my fridge, which is starting to move around on me a little. It was on a slide in the back of my Jeep, but this is my wind or sun deflector for the windshield. And pro tip, lay this over top if the sun is coming in this side of the truck or car. And it'll ref it provides an air gap and it'll reflect the sun off. I think it really helps keep the fridge uh, cooler. 
under that on the floor, I have some Gatorade and water bottles. So right there is how I travel in the cab for the truck camper. Now let's go to the cap. And this is a mid-rise cap. I'll have a review on it as well. But uh, So here it is. As you can see, it's a very basic setup. I didn't do anything, no build, no nothing. I got an REI cot, which I must say, this REI uh, cot is awesome. If you're into cots, get this. I'm 6'2", 240. I sleep like a baby on it. Uh, and it's adjustable. You can go taller. This is above the wheel well in the shortest setting, but below the uh, top of the bed and cap, it is perfect height. I can actually sit all the way in the back with the pillow up against the window and uh, my head clears. Um, you might notice the bear back there and wonder why a guy has a bear. Uh, my wife snuck him into my luggage when I left. So he's been riding comfortably up there. But uh, anyway, I have four of these containers. I'll get a shot of it so you can see what they are. As you can see on the lowest setting, two will stack under here. Bottom one has a uh, gas one, butane and propane stove. I'll have a review on it, but it's awesome. I have uh, pots and pans and coffee supplies in that one. I can pull these two out and make coffee. The next one has some miscellaneous pots in the middle, all the way to the front has food and you might notice the corner of another small container that's my uh, utensil drawer it's got knives forks spoons uh, sharp knives uh, just everything a whisk everything for cooking and eating so that's my utensils that front corner the yellow bag is a dry bag that I put my dirty clothes in uh, the two red bags, there's a small duffel and a big duffel. These are old. I used to use these on the back of my motorcycle. They're dry bags. They have been to Canada and Key West and back on the motorcycle. They don't let water in. Uh, the small one, I have towels, washcloths. Uh, I put my blue bag there. You see, that's my uh, uh, ditty bag for my toiletries. That fits in there. The back one is much bigger. It holds, I've got enough clothes for all week and then some in there. More than I needed. And uh, it's great too. I don't think they have these at Walmart anymore. Uh, but anything similar will do if you want to go this way. Uh, down the side, I hung a pole. I've got to fix that. I've got to get that pole hanging right up here even with this. This was a last minute job and it's got a Cabela's uh, cot organizer. I have extra shampoos and soaps in this one. Where it says Cabela's is a pocket, I can put a bottle of water. And then, I mean, it's got more stuff than I'm using right now. But I, I've got to hang this up against here so I can get this thing raised all the way up. But I, that'll come later. This was my first trip. And I just wanted to get it done. Something else I want to show is I made tie downs to the cot. Uh, they're not even tight right now. And I'm not even sure I need them. This cot doesn't seem to want to move. I just have them so it doesn't jump around too bad if I hit loose stuff, you know, bumpy stuff, washboard. I was out on the beach at uh, above Cure Tuck Lighthouse and you hit some really uh, washboard stuff up there, bouncing me around. And as far as I can tell, this cot sits here just fine. Does not move. And, but I do have it tied down front and rear. And then this back corner over here, I also have it tied across to these normal tie downs you get in the corner of truck beds. They don't have, it doesn't have to be tied. It's just there to hold it in place. Uh, the other thing I do is I slide a shovel up in here and I have a brush for brushing off sand and dirt. Uh, that's actually pretty handy. 
and it just goes in there. And then the uh, one thing I didn't mention is my water. You know, I have a milk crate. I have a ratchet strap just holding it down. So, yeah, it can move around a little, but it's not going anywhere. And then I have a bungee holding a five or seven gallon uh, jug. I think it's five. A uh, Coleman water jug. That's my cleaning water, boiling water. Uh, boil it for coffee or whatever. I've been using all my drinking water is coming from a bottle of water. But I've cleaned that. I could drink out of it if I wanted to. Uh, but that's it. I didn't do any fancy build. This was my first trip. I just wanted to see what I needed, what works, what doesn't. Uh, and what did work was everything. I mean, it's, it's work. The one thing I do have to do, one piece of advice, if you live like this, when you're getting containers out to cook or whatever, just get them all. I end up having to climb all the way in there and getting them all eventually. So just make one trip, pull these out, climb in and get the others. Use them or not, you'll still probably save yourself at least one trip by doing that. Uh, but anyway, like I said, this is set going on seven nights, eight days uh, in my truck. I don't have curtains. I haven't needed them. I'm in bed. Uh, you know, I sit in the screen house and watch a movie. Then I climb in here, watch a couple YouTube videos. I'm in bed and sleep by 1030, up with daylight a little after, you know, about 7. And at night, nobody you can see through there now because it's backlit. At night, nobody can see in there. They don't even know you're there. Uh, so I don't know what I'm going to do about curtains. I'm still thinking about that. Uh, still thinking about a build, but a slide out drawer would be awesome. You know, I'm, I'm in my fifties. I'm a little overweight and just getting in and out of there is a uh, pain. It's doable. I'm not sold. I can't function, but <laughs> it's just a slide out where you can get to everything, cook coffee, you know, uh, or food or whatever. Just be a lot quicker and easier. Uh, but anyway, hope you found this of interest and hope it gives you some ideas about a truck and a truck cap camping and overlanding setup for yourself and an idea how to get started. Uh, all this stuff I had except the cot. I had a cot that didn't fit. It was way too big. So I did have to buy the cot. Everything else, sleeping bag, uh, the two inch foam topper. Well, I did have to buy the the containers, uh, the ones I had weren't right. So I did have to buy four of those. But everything else I had, and uh, you could just throw it in and go. You don't have to have anything fancy built uh, if you don't want to. But anyway, this is uh, Greg. As I said, I'll be doing reviews on the stove, the Blue Eddy, the fridge, and the truck and eventually my new trailer uh, that I pull behind the truck and hopefully get those up. But from Bodie or Body Island Lighthouse, uh, I'll sign out until next time. Bye.